discussing brain box. How does a brain box work? A car brain box is an electronic device that incorporates microprocessors. For monitoring, it focuses on controlling multiple functions in a vehicle. For example, cruise control, automatic gear shifts, engine running, climate control, emission control, fuel injection, and lots more. The brain box is also known as the PCM, powertrain control module, ECM engine control module or the ECU engine control unit. It can be referred to as a small computer that looks after proper working in the engine for rough understanding. The brain box can be located in different places depending on the vehicle. It can be found in the engine bay close to the firewall. On others, it can either be located on the instrument panel, behind or underneath the component, or be even behind the console or climate control system. Hello viewers, welcome to yet another exciting episode of Auto Experts, your guide to safety. I am your host, Ilda Shaibo, and today it promises to be interesting as usual. Do not touch that dial, I'll be right back. Do you know there's a recommended field for your car? For more info and safety tips, watch Auto Experts on the following channels and follow all our social media platforms at Auto Expert. For advert placements and sponsorship, call 080 2424 5543. Vintage cars are stronger, while others think modern cars are better. For more info and safety tips, watch Auto Experts on the following channels and follow all our social media platforms at Auto Experts. For advert placements and sponsorship, call 080 2424 5543. Guide to safety. When they bring money and they seize money, during this rainy season, it has an advantage and disadvantage as rainy season don't they now. Nothing will go feed you again. Right now you cannot get a uh, uh, passenger when you are putting on uh, without putting on a big big shoes or whatever to go and enter your bike. Depending on the type of business you do, uh, when you are coming in terms of transportation, it favors them. Do you know the tires can be retreaded? Retread is a remanufacturing process for tires that replace the tread on one tires. The tire retread process replaces the tread on used tires. There are two methods for replacing tread, pre-cure and mold cure method, and both processes start with the inspection of the tire. Retread tires are less expensive. They are cheaper than new tires. For example, if someone purchases a new car and later sells it after one or two years of usage, the price drops compared to the initial amount of purchase. Same goes for retread tires. Retread tires are safe. They are made to the same standards and undergo the same testing as new tires. They are environmentally friendly. They make the best use of quality resources to conserve rubber and save precious natural resources. They are generally a lot less expensive than the new ones. However, since the introduction of budget tires, people are not likely to purchase retread tires, as budget tires are even less expensive and freshly made with better quality than retread tires. Another downside of a retread tire is the quality. No matter how well it works after retreading, it could still develop issues. That's it on retread tires. <laughs> Every battery is supposed to last for a minimum of two years and maximum of five. But it depends on the country where you operate from. I must say here that it also weakens the battery life. So in case your battery does not last for two to five years, it could be it, you know. Now to check the date of manufacture on your battery, there are two ways. If your battery is old, there are two digits that are very, very important that you must check. Is that it comes with a figure before alphabet or an alphabet before the figure. What does this mean? If on your battery you have A1, 
It means your battery was manufactured some years ago, which also means it is old. A1 means January 2001. The A always stands for the month because in a year we have 12 months. So let's count together. A stands for January, B, February, C, March, D, down to 12, which means we have A to L or M. So if you have M1, it means that your battery was made in December 2001. On the other hand, if your battery says 1A, it means your battery was manufactured in the year 2011 and your battery is the new version. I hope you can now check the date of manufacture of your battery all by yourself. And I do hope you enjoy today's segment of Do It Yourself. I still remain Pops and Jeff. Thanks again for watching Do It Yourself. Join me again, same time, same station, and it's a wrap for now. Plan to trip early enough so as to arrive in good time. Don't eat junk food while on a road trip. Watch Travel Guide and following channels and follow all our social media platforms at AutoX for advert placements and sponsorship. Call 080 2424 5543. Welcome to Auto Guide, the only segment in television where we educate, inform, and enlighten you about the components that make up your vehicle. On this episode, Engineer Patrick throws more light on engine cylinders and their functionalities. He explained that there was a huge difference for each cylinder when it comes to fuel consumption and general performance. He also advised that people should buy their cars according to their purposes. For example, if you get in a car that would take you around the city and neighboring areas of state, just do a V4 engine. But if you're one who does long distance traveling, for example, Lagos to Kaduna, Abuja, V8 is best for you. But well, today we are talking about the engine cylinders. Everybody says uh, which one is four cylinder, which one is six cylinders, which one is eight cylinders. We want to let people know when you buy a car, the cylinder matters. You will ask yourself, what do you need it for? What am I going to use this car for? This is a Land Rover LR3. A v engine is V8, 8 cylinder, 4.4 uh, engine. You will now say, what do we need a 4.4 for? The essence is comfort. When you are traveling, it goes a long way. It gives you comfort. You don't get tired. I used to travel to, from Lagos to Abuja. I will not stop except to go and urinate. To even eat is a problem because I'm driving a powerful V8. But what are the risks people run away from V8? Maintenance poor maintenance and then the fuel. Well, like people say, if I have a V8, why should I be concerned about the fuel? Why am I bothered about the fuel when I know I'm going to use a V8 engine? There are six cylinders also. It's also powerful. There are a lot of them that are very powerful, especially those that are equipped with turbo. But what you should look for, if you know you're, you want to buy a car, like I said, the car you have been driving, though it is very unpleasant, but it's saving me my fuel. They are also V6. V6, they, uh, their consumption is minimal, is low, but it also depends on how you maintain your vehicle. Maintenance is the key. If you use the right oil and the right fuel and, every, and change your air filter whenever you, you are servicing your car, your fuel consumption will go down. Little as that air filter is, it will save your fuel. A lot of us drive cars that you don't even, your gear does not get to gear three. And you'll be driving it in town, you think you are enjoying yourself. No, if your car is going, not going, is going to be a city car, get a four cylinder, a 1.3, a 1.6. It, do, it does not matter because that is what you need it for. But if you know you are going to go far and get the bigger ones, don't stress your four cylinder and then kill it before it's time. But if you know, your first cylinder is not working, put the things right, prevent it. Everybody uses a 20W50 on those cars, it is wrong. That Kia, we use a 5W30, we flush the engine and use a 5W30. And its performance also improved. The fuel, and it's not just that all Kia does not consume fuel. 
they all consume. But if you service it well, we use a 5W30 and it, the performance improved. So anytime you want to buy a car and you think of what is the essence of the car, what do I need it for? They think first, durability, your fuel, and then every other thing you need it for. If it has a condition, if it's automatic, it is okay. If you want a four cylinder for, for economy purpose, I will recommend it for you. If you want to travel with it, you don't want to be a, a bully on the road, I recommend the V6. But if you are the one in and out, Lagos, in, within the city, outside Lagos, across Nigeria, get a V8, you will enjoy it, or get a, a V6 that is also powerful, there are a lot of them. I, if I want to buy a V6, I will take a BMW or a Mercedes-Benz, but if I'm going for the top of the range, it's, it's a Range Rover, or even the ones that are equivalent to it. I always recommend Range Rover because I know what it will do for you, and the fuel capacity, it can withstand our unleaded regular fuel. It's not like the others that we destroy the oil engine and all. If you cannot do a V8, do a V6, which will give you almost the same result. That's it on Auto Guide. Enjoy the rest of the program. Until we come your way next week, thanks for watching. Be safe on the road. Use your seat belts. Do you know when to change your transmission fluid? For more info and safety tips, watch Auto Experts on the foreign channels and follow all our social media platforms at Auto Experts. For advert placement and sponsorship, call 080-2424-5543. Like I was saying earlier, the brain box is one of the most important components found in virtually all modern vehicles. A bad or failing brain box will produce the following symptoms to alert the driver of potential problems. Check engine light turn on, engine stalling or misfiring, car not starting, engine performance issue and poor fuel economy. If you ever suspect your vehicle's brain box is having an issue, have the car inspected by a professional technician to determine if your car's brain box will need a replacement. We have come to the end of another exciting episode of Auto Experts, your guide to safety. I remain your host, Ilda Shaibo. Do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram at Official Auto Expert One, Facebook Auto Experts, Twitter Auto Expert Pro. You can also catch us and subscribe on YouTube, Auto Expert TV. Have a lovely day, guys.